What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. Tonight, we're going to be talking about IMBI. We're going to do uh, some touches on the price action from today and what we could see for tomorrow's session and the next. Uh, but please, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can get this information out to as many people out there who want to learn about the trade. As many people as possible, right? Uh, okay, with that said, let's begin. So, for the new viewers, we are still within a bullish uh, formation here. This is a descending broadening wedge. The descending broadening wedge signals a potential reversal in trend. Uh, on this particular candle, this was on October 17th, we have touched and tested the very bottom, uh, the support of this formation, which can further validate that we are within the formation. So all we need really is about two tests of the resistance in order for us to validate that we are within the formation in the first place. So we do have, this could argue, arguably be one, but we do have one, two, three tests. These are the ones that I do consider the most relevant. So one, two, uh, three. And now if you remember, if you're, if you've been watching me, you know, the golden rule of three that I talk about often. So we have three tests of the resistance followed by reaccumulation, touching the demand zone, followed by some sideways action, and then a true breakout, uh, of the formation to test a relevant, uh, a relevant, uh, resistance before coming back and testing this newly converted resistance into support before finding some more upside. So we have this, this is a, this is a support range that we've been looking at for quite some time now. And it does have uh, some rhyming with both of these moving averages, which is uh, the green one is the 10 day simple moving average. And the yellow one is the seven day exponential moving average. And this is uh, this is one enormous indecision uh, flying uh, a spinning top doji candle. So these are these are uh, usually present when there is an equal battle between the bulls and the bears. Uh, we can see here that our range was tested almost precisely at the bottom here at the at the knot two three six at about fifty two eleven, and. Uh, I do mention this to you guys as well. When we're reaching a point of profit, it's always important to kind of sell just right before it. So there's there's a likelihood to where day traders were looking at the seven day exponential or this two, three, six, and some of them sold off a little bit early. So always make sure that we can allow a little bit of room before take profit uh, starts taking place or else you'll just be bag holding. Um, the good thing is, is that we have made a daily higher high from here, fr uh, from, from this low here. So there is a higher high and now this is another higher high. This is, this is candle analysis. So we need more validation from other metrics so that we can be able to gauge a bias and direction. So what I, what I am noticing here is, is that this can be potentially leading sideways using this, uh, this, uh, level of, of uh, resistance in order for us to start getting closer to this, uh, to, to the, you know, the top trend line leading down to the two, three, the two, three, six, the not two, three, six as a, as a tightening of an apex here before we find a true breakout and then start our, our testing before some upside. We do have to see this as a, as as a long standing formation please know you guys that we've been here since uh the dates are down here we point at the candle first and the date appears so this is september 26th to today being october 25th so it's been going for quite a while so we do have to practice some patience within this uh within this uh, development of this formation let's go ahead and move on to the next chart and see what we got so this was uh, mentioned yesterday. I did notice two primary drives of, of bullish divergence here. So the bullish divergence happens when we have some lower lows in price action followed by some higher lows in the RSI signal. So uh, uh, this this line is invalid. It's just it was just uh, an example for yesterday. But as you can see here, we do have two drives that are of bullish divergence. Potentially even a three. We can actually validate that by taking a trend line here and looking at this uh, this uh, triangle here. Uh, at the, and let's see where where that lands. So okay, that that was actually uh, that was actually not a valid uh, drive of bullish divergence. 
However, the ones that we are in now are absolutely uh, two drives here. So this being the, the candle low here being the RSI low here and this candle low being this one right here. So uh, this is potentially starting to play out now. We can give it some weight since we're in a larger time frame. This is the 12 hour with two primary drives of bullish divergence. Yes, we, we could we could potentially see some upside. Another thing is is that we are looking at we we are looking at a standard setup here, you guys. I'm sorry that you guys have to see this every time if you are a returning viewer, but for the new viewers, I do have to explain again. Apologies. So the RSI has been is split into two areas. We have the top area as the bullish control zone and the bottom, the bottom area as the bearish control zone. Uh, now, both of the zones are split into two. This being bear strength percentile and this half being the bear weakness percentile. This, this half on the, on the upper half is the bull weakness percentile and on the top is the bull strength percentile. So just in case you hear me talking about, uh, you know, he, saying references like that, you know what I'm speaking about. And it's a typical RSI. We have above 70% is going to be your overbought area. Below 30% is going to be your oversold area. So what, what, I, what I'm trying to say here is, is that we are in a very, very critical zone here of the bear strength percentile. We're getting close to bear weakness, which we can technically be gravitated towards. Now, another thing that we should note is that we do, uh, we are actually finding ourselves trading below the moving average. This pink line here is, a, is the moving average. It's a 14-day moving average standard to an RSI. And this is this is our signal line, the, the, the relative strength. So we could potentially find a rejection alongside the moving average and the and the separation between the strength and weakness percentile line we can start going towards the downside but we remember we do have that bullish divergence uh in here now let's look at other time frames to see if we can get uh, a real bias in direction here guys let's start a multi-pane here and and make a oh my goodness let me add that indicator again so there we go. So let's make that large. Let's make this one large as well. That one and this one. Let's start looking at the immediate term time frame. Let's start at the 30 minute. So 30 minute is suggesting a continuation to the upside. However, the pivot is not as strong. What is good is, is that we're reaching shallow levels of the bear weakness percentile. So this can likely gravitate towards the bullish control zone. We are also above the, above the moving average. So that's a good sign. Let's look at a immediate, I'm talking about micro time frames here. Same situation within the 15 minutes. So this is suggesting upside almost, almost right away. Uh, five minute we're not going to give that too much credit right now let's just go ahead and jump into the higher term uh to a higher term rsi this is going to be the buy hourly we are looking at a potential cross of the rsi signal into uh, you know above the above the moving average we are approaching uh a shallow level here of the bear weakness so this is this is also looking good this is an upside suggestion however just like this one has a has not so strong pivot so let's go on to the six hour this is going to be our six hour rsi it is now reject it's it's actually suggesting a continuation to the upside and we have just moved above the the moving average and into uh, bear weakness percentile. So we are within this very deep area of the weakness. So we could we could actually be drawn right back into the strength, but it is suggesting upside as well. Now let's look at the uh, daily since we already went over the 12 hour and see what it's suggesting. Okay, so daily is actually suggesting a continuation to the uh, to the to the downside. Now this is potentially what could be happening within the daily. So the daily can, we can actually still see the bullish divergence in the daily as well. So this is likely what's happening. We draw one more line down here. It can even, it can even land as far as this uh, here and still be a bullish divergence. As long as, as long as price action is continuing to, uh, to print, to print another another low down here and we can make our trend line follow down to the downside and this still be pivoted towards the upside we're still making another 
and uh, this would be a daily uh, bullish drive of divergence. So the uh, bullish divergence actually. So yeah, you guys, definitely, definitely good to keep this in mind. But we could be facing a potential green day for IMBI uh, tomorrow. So if you do have some long positions, I would start to to watch out for them. Now, uh, to, I'm just saying that if you want to, uh, there is some downside risk after after one more one more day. Uh, and the reason why we can say this is because we could still come back and test this uh, this bottom support here of the formation. But we are in a bullish formation. Remember, you guys, that's still that's still in the cards. And I am still expecting a pretty a pretty exponential move from IMBI. And the reason that now the reason for that, what I'm saying is actually this uh, the typical take profit. Uh, or the price objective for this formation is typically the genesis. Uh, so this being the genesis. So the target for IMBI overall would be $1.23 after, after potentially another week or two of trading sideways and or retesting uh, supports down here. So it is going to be kind of a choppy action here, but I do expect, if we do realize this uh, this formation, I do expect us to touch uh, the one dollar and twenty three level eventually, but that is going to do it for the video tonight, you guys. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on Twitter or on Discord. Uh, I'm going to leave the links right below so that you can be able to reach out to me. I, I'm I'm available here as well, you guys. You can comment down below, and I'll definitely reply to you guys. We can discuss further into technicals or strategies on Discord, though. Please make sure to join the join the Discord server so we can continue talking. Uh, other than that, I have nothing else to say. I, I will catch you at the bell tomorrow. Adios.